So good. Palu McCartney, I love that. Okay, so Palu McCartney playing Cloud. We got Ehis on Yoshi. Blue Yoshi, I like it. And I would imagine that this matchup has to feel really hard for Yoshi. That's a that's a big sword, and he's not slow enough that he can really abuse the air momentum. But going for early edge guards is a good way to get him. All that, but but Nair, Yoshi Nair. Yoshi Nair is just so incredible. <laughs> like Yoshi Nair out of shield, just mm. And the thing is, Outside of up B, which is not like an aerial breakout, uh, not great getaway tools. So once Yoshi's combos start, like Cloud could be in it for a bit. He's a fun weight to combo. Yeah. I'm curious too how uh, the Yoshi second jump is going to interact with uh, like things like cross slash or things that will kind of lock him in. Yeah, it's going to require a lot of patience from Aegis because I don't think those will actually break it. I think it, there's a, a super armor of somewhere in the mid 20s percent and I don't think Cloud has a single move that does that. That being said, this is going to be yep, that's yeah. That was a great forward air to challenge the fully charged Flim Hazard. Yeah. I wasn't expecting the forward air to be honest and after he did it I was like, "Oh, yeah, great." Like, Something tells me Thor wasn't either. He thought he really needed to go high cuz you're right, he's afraid of the lone air. Yes, that's the lone air is very scary for recovering. Yeah. Oh, throws the egg a little bit too high, gets caught with the forward air. Forward air's taking stocks today, man. Yeah. All right, comes online, uses it immediately, love it. And that's such a good use of an early limit, is to get like 30% on a landing back air. That's true combo, and you take that percent all the time. Yeah. You're going to get limit before the stocks, but probably within the next 30, 40 seconds anyways. Right. Might as well. And Yoshi's like elusive enough that you need to take all the damage you can get. There's yeah. been a lot of stray hits when I'm pretty sure Thor normally combos into those cross slashes a lot. And there we did see the super armor go right through the forward air. So that is a good tool, and Ahis is already showing much patience in the way of recovery. Oh, that's okay. I thought they lost the jump there. I was a little bit nervous, but there we go. Okay. Scouted. Those defense op options are really hard to deal with. Ooh, heats up that limit, though. So. Oh, hey. Zero, zero. Here we go. You know how long Yoshi's head is? Those forward smashes last so long, and I know it's exaggerated because of the lean back, yeah. but like, there was a full swung forward air, and you're like, not even close to touching Yoshi. Not right. even a little bit. Right. Oh, beautiful up tilt to kind of catch that jump right there. And we see Thor trying to break out of it with Nair, which I think is one of Cloud's fastest aerials. Just can't do it. Yoshi's got too much combo tool, and he moves so fast in the air that you're just not going to be able to get out like that. Yeah. and Paolo McCartney with just enough of a lead that it will force Ahis to approach if he wants to, which we see Ooh. some stage control being lost by Paolo McCartney. I need to learn <laughs> to start saying it. <laughs> I keep calling him Thor. Oh, duck the egg with the up air. I think it really needs to be said. Ahis' patience right here and this last stock has been fantastic. Like waiting out that limit, kind of making him just throw that... Ooh. Oh, the turnaround up smash to take matter. it. And that's how a lot of these stocks have ended, is just a, a whiff oh, aerial. It's all whiff punishes awesome. because, honestly, both these characters kind of have lingering aerials. Like, yeah. clouds feel faster, yeah. but that forward air takes out a while, and that's why he got hit by the forward smash. That's right, yeah. And you have to get another credit to Ahis' patience. Not many Yoshis are not looking to immediately punish someone coming out of Egg. The fact that it was Egg Shield, because yeah. he expected the up B mash from Thor, yeah. is brilliant. Yeah. Didn't get as much of a punish as I think he wanted on it, but like that's the kind of next level thinking that takes stops. He got caught on the back part of it, and kind of Whoa. that's where the the last kind of scramble ended. Mm -hmm. But had that not happened, I mean, he was in the game. I mean, that was oh, that was anyone's I think that game. Was probably either a little bit of panic or not what he wanted. He rolled behind, definitely yeah. to get a punish. But he also could have just moved away. Yeah. Behind is always scary because so many of the splash boxes in this game have that back hitbox. Right. Rolling away in the egg, love it. And Battlefield's an interesting choice. I guess he gets the ladder combo, it just does, but. S smash the targets. Sorry, the music. I love it, sorry. Um, yes, ladder combos. <laughs> I can't stop thinking oh. about smash the targets. That's great. Uh, and Thor taking a pretty commanding lead. I was going to say, I feel like Cloud's really comfortable on this stage. His sword hits nicely through those platforms. If you're not taking him to an extra extended combo, yeah. I feel like that might be a rough pick. Ooh. They up smash again. We'll steal it. Thor really catching those landings with the golf swing. 
So this was Ahis' counter pick. Um, we're seeing Paul McCartney use it very, very well. Like you said, that all of his aerials are just kind of perfect for sitting right in that little pocket, right underneath that uh, that center platform. Right, and once Ahis gets in, I'm sure it feels very satisfying. But what do you do as Yoshi with Cloud Under Platform? Can't land on the shield nearly as well as you want to. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get punished by the up B because it becomes more predictable, like so. Uh, and the eggs like come at that angle, like you can get them in there, but they're a little bit less effective. If you have to be the one approaching, I feel like this probably disadvantages Yoshi a little bit. Yeah. I think it's interesting. We're kind of seeing too that Ehis is struggling not to get not struggling to get back on stage. He's getting back on stage just fine, but he's taking a lot of damage during it. How McCartney finding these forward airs through the egg onslaught yeah. is wild. Like he's flanking them and hitting it. That is some game knowledge. Oh, nice shield. I just love how Yoshi's shield doesn't have the possibility of shield poking you there. Best shield Such in the game. A good. Good. It's a nice touch. Weird little thing. Yeah. You know, there's plenty of things you can complain about this game, but Nintendo really cares about how things feel true to form. Yeah, absolutely. That back air will take yeah. it. And honestly, I don't mind the dash attack from Thor. He lost his stock from Paolo McCartney. He lost his stock a little early for it, probably earlier than he would have wanted to, but he was losing it anyway, and if he took that stock, he'd be miles ahead. Yeah. And then we get, again, you saw a hit get that up air, but Thor, Paolo oh. McCartney, is purposely guiding away from the platforms. Like, he is, when getting hit underneath, dying in towards that top platform, so he can't quite get the ladder, um, which is very, very good knowledge. Yeah, I would expect to see uh, he's kind of getting a few more strings. And Ooh. Thor's just kind of just, like stifling it each time. It's also wild to see a character live to 164 against Cloud. <laughs> like, Thor's throwing out haymakers after haymakers. Kyle McCartney, there it is. But Ahis did a great job of putting on a lot of damage. Right. Like, he's a couple hits away from having an even game. And if you remember last game, we were down to one stock, one stock, 0%, 0%. Like, and even that stock that Kyle McCartney just took was anticipation on his part. He figured that Yoshi was going to hit another button after doing the down tilt. Man, not getting punished. Both these players living to high percents, which is impressive because both these characters can kill very early. Yeah. Great recovery. Fantastic. Good call. That uh, Calling out the jump right there is very, very important. Yeah, because you know every Cloud player there wants to, you hit their shield, they want to do that up B. That's a very, uh, you're fine with that trade. You're taking minimal percent and getting the stock? Yeah. Absolutely fine. And he's taking his time getting back on the stage. I like it. It's Dude, it's scary, though. Going around these eggs is incredible. He's parrying, he short hopped. Cloud does not have a high short hop over one. Like, what is this? And corner pressure, that's the biggest thing I think of when I think of Paolo McCartney. He will back air you in the corner until you run into it. And you will run into Ooh. it. Okay, he's going to have to burn this limit right here. Yep. That's very, very significant. That one in, like that one little down tilt. Let's see if it can pay off for Ahis, though. And we have to give credit to Ahis on that, too. Every time he's gotten Thor, Paolo McCartney off, it has, he's taking advantage and really trying to make Callum McCartney afraid of the recovery. And that's probably a call back to that first game with that forward air on the limit Klim Hazard. Mm -hmm. That makes everything so much scarier when you know a player is going to challenge you. Mm -hmm. Oh, big swing there. So the back airs I was talking about, like, it's so scary. He's going to survive and he that waits yet. for that one defensive option and punishes you for it. It's going to survive that too. Okay. I'm not sure he got the sweet spot on that. A hits living on borrowed time. That's often a good sign for a player. See if you can take advantage of it. Uh, the patience. I'm, I'm blown away. Oh, the rising down air. Yeah. Oh, man. That Rough. was good stuff by both players. Those were both very close. Could have gone either way. Absolutely. That was a great set. Oh, man. The 